pay for everything when the check gets in. Sorry. I'm broke, Jerry. You want sympathy from me? Are you kidding? I need this stuff. I need 600 bucks. Come on, Jerry. Don't you start with me. She can't control her kid. That's her problem. Well, how's she supposed to feed her family? Maybe TV should have thought about that before he pulled the plug in my freezer. <laughs> you pay my losses, we'll talk about credit. Bag or groceries, Jerry? What is this? What, you need a diagram? Bag or groceries? Hey, it's none of my business, but if this is band money... It's my money. Then you're right, it's none of your business. Um, thanks. Um, I'll pay you back when the check gets in. Sure. Molokai. See? Also known as the Friendly Island. Boasts the longest white sand beaches in Hawaii. The agent said there was nothing to do there. Well, what do you want to do? Well, I don't know. Vacation stuff. Well, walk on the beach? Sit on the beach? Lie on the beach? Burn on the beach? <laughs> Burn? Oh. Hi. Hi. So, which island? Maui. Molokai. We're Maui. gonna go to Molokai. <laughs> Thought about bathing? <laughs> Not yet. Maybe I should just go on vacation with somebody else. Hey, Karis. Excuse me? I think he's having a breakdown. <laughs> he just paid for Lewis's groceries. <laughs> no way. He's just trying to bug Jerry. Mm -mm. That guy opens his wallet and moths fly out. <laughs> so, uh... This beach of yours better have shade. Oh, it's got lots of tour stuff. You can even go see the phallic rock. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Did not. Did too. My mom saw him take out his money. That's a pile of crap, Bertha. It's not crap. It's because of you. Your mom owes for all that stuff in the freezer. Wouldn't it be gross if he was, like, after her? Wouldn't it be gross if I had to rearrange your face? Lay off, man. Watch your mouth, okay? such a big deal. It's not like I asked him to pay. Come on, Marie. He's just being nice. He's not nice. How do you know? Do you know him? Does anyone know him? He's been here for four years, and no one's even invited him over for dinner. You're not going to do that, are you? He's not putting one foot inside of this house. You don't tell me who's allowed into this house and who's not. Oh, so you take his money, you invite him over, and it doesn't matter people think you're putting out for him? You don't talk to me like that! He got the I'll go on late. Edmonton's closer. Who cares? Once we go, keep going all the way. Yeah, but... Are you scared? No, it's just that... Just what? Got a boom ball game next week. I'll call you when I get there. You gonna go see that student nurse? Of course. She invited me. You gonna stay with her? What do you think? But don't tell anyone, okay? Keep it to yourself. You're still gonna need money. I know. How much you got saved for that leather jacket? Oh man. I need the money, Joey. Jerry, you seen TV today? No, thank you very much. Anyone seen TV? He was hanging around the airstrip this morning when that charter came in. The airstrip? You know how he talks to the pilot. I don't know, it's just weird. Why? It's two weeks together nonstop in each other's face. You can always go to the beach. Lois. What's wrong? TV took off. He does that once a week. I think he took the plane. Come on, Lois. The kid doesn't have a dime to his name. Willie says he talked to the pilot. We had a fight. Please. There's no way anyone's going to fly him out of here for free. There's no way. 160 bucks. Where did you get that kind of money? I was saving, man. For a year. 
What, and you just gave it to him? Yeah, he's my friend. And he didn't say where he was going. Joey. I told you. So. Well, that's a big help. 160 bucks. He ain't gonna make it out of Yellowknife. I never thought he'd do it. I never. It won't be okay, Alma. You know that. Valunda. Hey, Elsie. Lois. Come in. I, uh, I heard what happened. Uh, Joey and Marie were talking over at the coffee shop. Uh, I, uh, I just wanted to apologize. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I... It's not your fault. He'll show up. Kids, they, they do this kind of thing. <laughs> they come back. Anyway. Want some tea? Yeah, sure. Six thirty-six Birch Grove Street Drive. Birch Grove Drive. Twenty bucks. So she's really upset, and she still owes Mackenzie Region Health Board for those windows he broke last fall. Bell, wait. That's not the point. She can't cope anymore. I'm just trying to suggest that uh, maybe the band could help out a little bit. The band does. That's why the Mackenzie Region isn't leaning on her for this window thing. She needs more than that, Peter. Why this sudden interest in Lois? Well, um, you're always advising me to get more involved with the community. And when does the community come down to one woman? Well, you can't get involved with the community without getting involved with individual people. And... Maybe she wouldn't have had as much trouble with TV if uh, there had been someone there to help out. We take care of Lois just fine. Uh, does Leslie Baxter live here? Is Bill or Lauren? Neither. Hi, I made it. 
You know him? Uh, yeah, from up north. What are you doing here? I said I'd come. Yes, you did. Oh, Jack, this is TV. Hi, TV. Hi. So, how long are you here for? I don't know. This isn't a good time. We're having some people over for dinner. Why don't you give me a call when you get set up, okay? Yeah, sure. You take care. I can't believe you actually showed up. Are you collecting lost puppies again? for a room? 30. Nothing cheaper? A hostel if you could get in. Wouldn't bet on keeping that jacket, though. Bench at the bus terminal is probably safer. Thanks. I know, I know. Just put it out on the computer, okay, Chris? Yeah. Thanks. Well, we'll see. That's it? I called everyone in the force who owed me a favor. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, Michelle. We don't even know where he is. Vancouver. TV went to find Leslie. How do you know that? <sighs> Joey asked me how he could get a hold of her. He's never gonna make it. He showed up at her doorstep a few hours ago. Then he disappeared. Right, like he has somewhere else to go. That's Leslie's version. She said she'd call if he turned up again. Well, it narrows the field. Yeah, not by much. Well, you must have some friends left in Vancouver. Yeah, but there's hundreds of runaway kids out there. I mean, you could put a whole Vancouver detachment on it, you'd still come up empty. Next. Got a minute? Catching a bus, buddy? <laughs> oh, yeah, the 4am to Prince George. Let me see your ticket. <coughs> Come on, let's get going. I'm going. I'm okay, going. out of here. All right, lay off, man. I said I'm going. We're pushing. Jeez. Called some friends down there, Elsie. They said they're gonna keep an eye out. That's about all I can do. I don't see why it's my problem. Lois has been letting him run wild for years. You see, just sit on him once in a while or, you know, draw the line. I mean... Our way is not to interfere. Our way is to show him. Well, he's gonna be shown some things in Vancouver. That's why I'm here. He's not ready.
there a problem? No. But I bet you do. So, which res? None. Lynx River? It's near Liard in the territories? You don't look into it. I'm Danny. <coughs> you hungry, snowman? How much? Oh, that's a dollar. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. Real sorry. Brand. Jesus. We did pretty good, huh? Pretty good. So, what did they call you, snowman? TV. As in transvestite. As in Trevor Victor. So what's your name? Nevada. You're kidding me. That's pretty cool. That's what my mother saw too. So where are you from? Idaho. Long, long time ago. RCMP Links River. Can you hold on a moment? Eric. You're gonna be okay for a couple days? Sure. I'll see you. Yeah. Constable Kennedy here. Here you go. I hear two tickets to Hawaii. Know anyone who wants to buy them? What's he after here? I mean, why her? Why now? Why is it any of your business? Because I'm the chief. And because Lois is a single woman living in this community, and that means her welfare is my responsibility. Oh. So, like, I shouldn't be concerned. You hired him. To do the books. Come on, Michelle, the guy's a creep. Let's see. He paid for her groceries. He bought her breakfast. Anything else you want to report before I book him? You think this is funny. Billy Tenya used to beat her. That trapper that moved in with her last summer stole her welfare check. So far, I'd say Harris Miller's looking pretty damn good. It was just a bad scene, so I left. How old were you? 11, 12, something like that. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you spare some change? Anyhow. This is an okay place if you watch your ass. Don't muscle in on anyone's turf. Don't think you know it all when you know shit. You'll be fine. Excuse me, sir. Could you spare some change? Thanks a million. Thanks. I'd say that gentleman just bought us a bottle of fun. Hey, what the hell are you doing here, Olson? I heard you went to Greenland. 
Yeah, ice plan, smart ass. How you doing, Doug? Good. So what's up? Uh, well, I'm on a mission. I'm looking for this kid. He came to town a couple of days ago. And I uh, was wondering if you could keep an eye out. Say, who's doing the Granville Mall area? <laughs> Depends whose luck's run out. Hey. <laughs> you snowballing son of a bitch. <laughs> How you doing, Sonny? Who let you out of your igloo? <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Another dead soldier. Excuse me, I, uh... Shit! That's as good as you get, snowman? We'll die of thirst. <laughs> uh, excuse, excuse me, I, um... Excuse me? This is nickel and dime, but we need cash. Nothing to it, okay? Car pulls up, you make a deal. Yeah, but, uh, but what? What do I gotta do? Whatever they ask for. It's easy. But, uh... Hey, do you want to play or not? enough for both of us. Good night. Mm. Night, Elsie. No one's blaming you, you know. Yes, they are. Well, they're jerks. Ignore them. Sorry, I should know better. You think Elsie's gonna want this, sir? TV wasn't like this when he was little. He was happy. A really sweet little guy. I uh, don't be too hard on yourself. Oh, I knew this kid once. Sweetest girl you'd ever want to meet. Until she turned 14. It's different with girls. They're easier. Oh, not this one. And I was going to marry your mother. Adopt all the kids. What happened? World War III. By the time the dust settled, the girl was gone. The other kids were farmed out to relatives. And the mother, she was so far inside her shell that... Oh, we tried to put it back together, but... There was nothing left. That's when I came up here.
He calls himself TV. Haven't seen him, huh? Thanks. What's the big deal about this kid? He's, uh... I know the family. You in shape? Yeah, why? Hey, Sonny, come on, I gotta find this kid. Drop it. What are you trying to do to me in here? Eric, no, 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 no. Empty. I said empty him. Huh? Any more booby traps? Yeah, why not? We got a frostbite on the brain. I forgot, all right? Take the small one. Hmm. Felt good, huh? Mm. Yeah, he scared the hell out of me. Exactly. You could have at least warned me. Want to spoil all the fun? Huh? All the adrenaline pumping through you? You're one sick pup, aren't you? You miss it, don't you? What? The chase. Nailing the bad guy. Come on. No. Me and my snowmobile, we're like this, man. <laughs> Come on home. Oh, Sonny. Hey, you know, Lindy didn't want a small town. She wanted a nine to five. She wanted a red tuna. She wanted Nelson Eddy. The job wasn't the problem, Eric. She was. You finished? Yo. Yeah. Hey, Jar, do you have anything with lanolin in it? I could sense the skin. Right. Oh, it's got menthol. I'm allergic. It's all I got. Well, can you order something? Aren't you getting a little carried away here? I mean, uh, what do you mean, Jar? We all get lonely. We all need a little companionship now and then. You're cruising. All I'm trying to say is don't take this too serious. Lois is a nice person, but they're not like us. Too many people like you in the world, Jer. It's the whole damn problem. Up. Yeah, I only need the one, though. I was out of line last night. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, what do you want me to say? Nothing. <laughs> He's such a hard ass. I don't want to talk about it. Hey, come here. Hey, would, would you come here? Look, I'm trying to offer you a job. We're going after the Changs. 
full-blown task force. No fooling around. We got the money, we got the support, we got all the techie toys we need to get it done right this time. I called in a lot of favors to go north. I don't think the brass is gonna like that too much. Already talked to him. Say the word, you're out of it. Comes with sergeant stripes. Extra three, four thousand a year, plus overtime. That's a lot of support payments. Um, so she invited me over. I, I went. I <laughs> call for you, Eric. Yeah. What line? Three. Olson. Ooh, you sound so downtown. How you doing? Oh, good. You? Oh, not so good. No sign of him? Not yet, but I got a lot of people out looking. What's going on up there? Uh, Willie lost them, Zach's. Oh. So I'm organizing a search party. And other than that, uh, just a lot of people who want to know if I've heard from you. Well, listen, as soon as I hear anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Well, call me. Yeah, okay. Bye. See her? Yeah? See if you can hit her up for some spare change. You do it. You're better at it. I fed us last night. You've got the baby face. Tell her you need the money for a bus ticket back home. The baby brother's dying. Go on. Do it. You owe me, man. Excuse me, ma'am. I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Well, that depends. See, I have this little brother in Lakes River, and, well, he's not doing so good, and... and division are in on this one. They were left. Nice place. This is him. Hit the jackpot this time, didn't you? I didn't do it, man. Well, but you got witnesses. I swear, I was just talking to her. You know how much money she had in her purse? I didn't know they were gonna do that. Don't you give me that shit! You jumped her, you rolled her, and then you beat the crap out of her. I didn't, I didn't! It'd be three dollars a concussion and a broken arm, 53 bucks. Do you know why I'm here? Do you? Your grandmother. Is she gonna love this story? I didn't lay a hand on her. I swear to God, I didn't even touch her! I don't believe you, and nobody else does either. I tried to help her. I tried to stop them. Who? Nevada. Don't you screw around with me, TV. That's his name. You're going to have to do better than that. That's all I know. I never saw the other guys before. How many? Two. Names. But I can show you where he lives. Let me stay there. I'd never hit an old lady, man, and you know that. You better hope these guys believe you. Officer's discretion, that's all I'm asking for. Yeah. We caught him red-handed. 
Well, did they actually see him hit her? Did they actually see him grabbing at the bank? Even if he didn't, he's still an accessory. Well, why did he stick around? I mean, why didn't he take off with the rest of the punks? He's got priors. Yeah, I know. Theft, vandalism. I know he's a troublemaker. He doesn't beat up on old women, though. Yeah, it's a cultural thing, you know? Respect your elders. That's right. You just fell off the back of the turnip truck? You ever been north of 60? Trust me. Appreciate it. I gotta make a phone call. Where's Lois? Lois? Just heard from Eric. Can we get this to, uh, Hay River in a couple of days? Sure. They found TV. That's great. He's in jail. He's fine, though. Eric's working on it. Harris. Yeah? Um, uh, you got a minute? Yeah, sure. Get the door, will you? We have to talk about Lois. What about her? I'm worried about her. That's nice. And she's, um, she's feeling kind of fragile these days, you know? It's tough living from welfare check to welfare check, and TV doesn't make it any easier, and I mean, Elsie's not getting any younger either. And then there's Marie and the high cost of kids' sneakers. Don't patronize me, Peter. Just get to the verb. I said I'm worried about her. Well, then why don't you do something? Like get TV a job. Or send the cops after his old man, make the bastard pay some child support. You're the band manager. Get on it. Well, you're the chief. Let me ask your advice. Like, where do I get the money? I could take it out of travel expenses. Maybe out of the land claims budget. Oh, I know. I'll take it out of your personal expenses. What the hell's wrong with you? You... You just cannot stand the idea of me and Lois together. It's not the point. Get your things. Kid's damn lucky the old lady backed him up. Yeah, one day his luck is gonna run out. Where's the rest of your things? Someone stole it. Wanna file a complaint? Screw you. Thanks again. Hey, no thanks. Gonna head for the airport. I want you to let him ride outside on the wing. Knock it off. The quicker I get him back, the quicker I get to Hawaii. What about the task force? I don't know. Come on. I gotta think about it, Sonny. Think about what's to think about? What do you want to do? Spend the rest of your career chasing after little wagon burners? You should know better. I 
Kelsey. Hey. Is he in big trouble? No, he just got mixed up with some bad kids. He could be a bad kid, couldn't he? Yeah. You're a good person. <laughs> Sometimes. What's up? Nothing. So, why'd you come back? I had a return ticket. The other guy, yeah, he offered you a job, didn't he? Yep. Good one? Yeah. Why didn't you take it? Maybe I will. You won't. You're stuck here. What? Here is shit. One of these days, I'm gonna wash your mouth out with soap. I'm getting out of here, man. I mean it, one of these days. You'll never learn, will you? What's it gonna take, TV? What do you care? You're leaving. Everybody always leaves. Don't let him get to you. Yeah. All this stuff will still be here tomorrow. Well, I had airline coffee. I'm gonna be up all night anyhow. 